Good morning, this is Megan Wolfenden, international best-selling author and business coach. And this is my video log number 51, which means my next one, number 52, takes me halfway through my 12-month self-care transformation. And so here I am in front of the hospital. I had actually done a video in this spot once before in this uh, the last 52 videos. So. I'll tell you the story in a moment, but what I thought I would do is I would make this um, number 51, the one before the celebration. This is going to be the one where I get down and honest and tell you the things that haven't gone to plan because there are lots of people recovering from cancer, illness and other trauma out there and I don't want to make sound like everything's gone perfectly. Um, of course things go wrong, things are slower than you expect the whole bit. So this one is not a whinge, it is simply to state what hasn't gone to plan. Okay, so first of all I'm in front of the hospital only because my little guy, he's uh, 15, broke his finger the other day and he has to have a quick operation to get it put back into place so it'll be right forever. So no no problems there, everything's fine. The last time I was here was um, when a family member had a bump on the head um, but I took that one down because I actually said who it was and I thought no I won't put that uh, video online because uh, I wanted to be fair with that one. Now what hasn't gone to plan? Things like this and then less important things get in the way of my exercise sometimes. Sometimes I have an excuse as to why I haven't exercised and so I haven't done as much exercise as I think I should have. So that's number one. Number two, I've actually put on a couple of kilos since my eight week challenge at the gym and that is frustrating me no end. I'm really quite hungry and um, I am writing down everything I'm eating and all the exercise that I'm doing and all the steps that I'm doing but for some reason my body wants to um, retain so that's been really frustrating I'll give you the results of the um, six months so far uh, and my next video um, the next thing is that my peripheral neuropathy, the, the, the nerve pain, has actually come back with the cold weather. And the doctor had told me that it would go away with the warm weather. I didn't know it would come back. And so that means that when I get up in the morning, sometimes just standing up can be very, very painful. Uh, and then when I go to the gym, um, my feet become very numb, even if I'm doing a spin class or something like that. Not numb to the point where I'm going to fall over, so that's all fine. But um, definitely, you know, not what I would have expected expected at this point so um, winter seems to have caused a bit of problems with the nerves and um, so I just feel that the nerves are not quite um, firing and the next part of that is that the chemo puts you into menopause and so the hot flushes are extensive sometimes eight times a night I'll be waking up but I think because of the nerve damage it's not just a hot flush it's actually pins and needles going all through my body and um, so I know it will heal with time, I just have to be patient, but that's just one other thing that's uh, just happened. Um, so that means that sleep is not great uh, all the time, and therefore, you know, if I don't get enough sleep one night, then I don't have enough energy the next day. But they're the negative sides, and it's not so bad. It's, you know, I'm looking forward to telling you all the good stuff. So if you do know somebody who has, uh, has had cancer and is dealing with cancer recovery then let them know that I've just started a public Facebook group called Courage After Cancer and get them to join because um, we're going to be doing lots and lots of things to help people get through all of these different um, scenarios while they're recovering and while they're working on their own self-care transformation. So I look forward to telling you all the good news next week. Um, my son will be out of surgery any moment and uh, all will be fine there. Everything else is really great. I hope you're doing really well. Look after yourself, be kind to yourself and uh, look out for anybody else who's also going through treatment and give them a helping hand. Thanks everybody.